goes Dwayne's car. Oh, man. There goes Dwayne's house. We live in an age where events once consigned to the realm of science fiction are unfolding before our eyes. And there goes Dwayne. Man, that thing does not like Dwayne. Forecasters are predicting a rough couple of days for the Mid-Atlantic up through New England next week as Hurricane Sandy churns its way northward. They're calling it Frankenstorm. Hurricane Sandy is being called a Frankenstorm. The largest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic. It was so large. Essentially, every U.S. citizen east of the Mississippi River was experiencing some influence of the storm, whether it be wind, snow, rain, storm surge. That's how large it was. This is unbelievable. A thousand miles uh, from side to side. And at one point, pressure was down to 941 millibars, which is the lowest recorded pressure ever in the North Atlantic for any storm. This storm is on a scale that's hard to comprehend. Imagine it superimposed on a map of Europe. Centered just east of Paris, it would cover much of the continent and all of the UK. Destruction on this level has never occurred in this state before. It's the worst storm in the history of New Jersey and, according to some people, maybe in fact one of the worst storms ever to hit the United States. This is the most catastrophic event that we have faced and been able to plan for uh, in any of our lifetimes. And it's, a, it's a major disaster. It's devastating. Not just big, Sandy was two storms in one. On its way up the coast, the hurricane bumped into another storm. That line of clouds you see indicates the cold front of that other weather system that Sandy merged with. We knew that it was not going to necessarily weaken the way a hurricane does when it makes landfall because it was just going to transition from a storm that was getting its energy from the ocean to a storm that was getting its energy from the uh, atmosphere, uh, the so-called uh, extratropical storm or mid-latitude storm or nor'easter. It appears that the weather patterns are changing and these type of monster storms perhaps are becoming more likely. Would you agree with that and why? I'd agree that in the last two years, the U.S. has seen an unprecedented sort of severe weather onslaught. I mean, this year alone, we saw, of course, Sandy. We had summertime in March. Last year, we had record floods on the Mississippi, the Missouri, the Ohio, and we had that tornado onslaught as well. And I just say we've moved into a new climate regime. It's not the same old climate I've known in 30 years as a meteorologist, and I think we have to point the finger towards heat trapping gases like carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There is a growing consensus that this is all part of a new normal. As the sea ice melts, our research suggests that the jet stream is going to tend to get weaker. As the jet stream gets weaker, it's easier for storms to stagnate, or in some cases, maybe even move to the west. It's a very unusual track. Anyone who says uh, there's not a dramatic change in weather patterns, I think is denying reality. Then you have to get into, was there a blocking high over Greenland because there's no sea ice up there this year? Then that's a whole other thing, because without that blocking high, right, this storm okay. turns out Let into me, the ocean. Most scientists have no doubt of the overall cause. We have a new normal, really. It's, it's the background environment for all weather systems has changed. And then remember that bizarre left turn Sandy took? And that was another weather system at play. We had a big area of high pressure up to the north that essentially was like a big roadblock. We have this big roadblock in the central Atlantic. It's a big blocking high. And that roadblock forced Sandy to make a left turn. And get this. That same high pressure system that caused the blocking uh, was also creating quite a bit of warming that perhaps was even related to the extreme melting that we saw over Greenland earlier this summer. Over four days in July, this swath of ice on Greenland melted. Red stands for melt. Four days. The high pressure system associated with that melting? That happened to have a really strong high pressure system formed over Iceland that allowed this warm air to sit around and move over Greenland. Might have been. The culprit that led to the uh, turn to the left instead of the right. Double whammy.